Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn in how to create menu in AppSheet. So the very first thing they should do is you have to open any of your web browser and then you just have to log in or sign up for an account on AppSheet. Okay, so as you can see right here, I already have an account on AppSheet. And then here, you just have to open a new tab and search for AppSheet. And then yeah, you just have to sign up for an account. Then after creating your account, what we are going to do is we are going to use the Google Documents. Okay, so we are going to use this one so that we can create a menu. So we have here name and image. So we are going to use this file as an example. So I'm just going to save it in my computer. And then we are going to upload it in AppSheet. So now going back to AppSheet, what you're going to do here just have to go to the data section that's right and then add a new table and then you'd be able to see the table right here at the right side so go to your google sheets that's right and then i just have to search for the file that you are going to add so i'm just going to add this new sample okay and then what you're going to do next is to change the table name okay so i'm going to name this one as a new menu or you can also name this one as uh you know the file type i mean the file name of the file so maybe i'm just going to name this one as new sample okay and then after that go to the ux and then after going to the ux what you're going to do is to add a new table okay so just add a new table right here that's right and then you just have to create a new view and then what you're going to do now is to change the name of your new view okay that's right so just go here and then type out the name of your new view okay and then yes for the data public form and then you can also select the view type so we have gallery we also have four, we have um, calendar, chart, and more. So for this one, I think I'm just going to use the gallery uh, view type. Okay, that's right. Next, go to the behavior. And what you're going to do here is to add a new actions to actions or operations that can be modified data in your app sheet or transition the user to a different view. Okay, so for the action name, we can add here the action name if you want to. Okay, that's right. And then for a record of this table, you just have to select your table. So I'm going to select a new sample. And for the type of action to perform, so you just have to select it as well. And then right here, you can see we have the two different menus. So it's up to you if what kind of data you want to put there. Okay, so for the table name, just going to change it. So adding menus on your app sheet, it will improve navigation, enhance user experience, customization, and flexibility, increase efficiency, conditional visibility, and access control, and it does no coding required, and of course, better organization of features. So... For the improved navigation, menus help users to quickly access different sections of your app, reducing confusion and making the experience smoother. So that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!